error pelearlo después de estar ah, Dile que no, porque el boxeo me ha dado más. Dile que una derrota, una... No, porque, you know, when you lose, you learn. Some, sometimes more than when you, you win. No, nothing happened, you know. It's not my way. And go back. After that fight, you know, a lot of fans were very upset. And um, they were throwing, like, chokes in the ring and yelling at you. Did that hurt your feelings or did that affect you at all? No, man. When I start fighting, es cuando empecé a pelear siempre me he criticado y nunca 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 he querido mi vida he ido poco a poco he's heard criticism his whole career when he fights people say things so it's something that he también muchos le tiraron muchos vasos le tiraron a los polacos y le por el corazón me ganaron yeah they, they were upset with the Polish people also because they beat him wasn't there a fight he had I I can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head in Mexico where they didn't like whatever the decision was on him and it was almost like a riot. Like it was almost like a riot. Yeah, 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 because back, back, back. Back. He had a fever. 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 He had I don't remember without, nothing. Without remember so nothing. remember he had a real sore throat like when he spoke in the, the post-fight interview. And a, and a oh, fever. No, 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 a Julio they haven't seen in a long time. He's in great shape. I don't have to tell you guys. You can look at him and you know he's in, no, but, but he's in like, good shape. No, but like Robert said, you know, I need a... a more fight like two three fights and it won't exactly won't be won't be in one fight where where I, where people will see everything i want you know i want them to see or everything that we're working at it's not you know it doesn't it doesn't happen in two months it, it's gonna you know it's gonna happen in 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 a year from now or, you know four fights from now you know that's what i want to do that's that's the work that i want to do you know i've done that before with with previous fighters and uh, and we've had very good uh good uh Good runs, good good turnouts. So I think I think we got the same the same thing planned out for for Julio. Would you, like, would you like to see him take like two or three fights to Reyes at a level before he steps that's, up? That's what uh, that's what we already talked about, and uh, and it'll be. I you see, know, I, I want, see I the four fights. I see like the favors. A ver cómo cómo veo la pelea. We'll see we'll see how this fight turns. También dile que con Fanfara dile que este el tumbó Stevenson dile que a mí nunca él me hizo daño dile cuando él lo tumbó yo me tumbó porque yo ya estaba bien cansado dile pero la verdad nunca me afectó con sus golpes y me pegó en el, en el sentido pero dile que nunca me me, me me dañó con sus golpes a pesar de que él es un 175 grande he said he knocked Stevenson down and even though I fell down it was because I was really tired but he and he was a, he's a big 175 pound fighter but he never really hurt me. I wasn't hurt. I wasn't knocked never out. Never hurt me, never, never. And it was more no, After the knockdown, you know, I read to him again, but I'm tired, you know. I don't have nothing for... for did, did he realize in the first round or two the, the size difference? I know Pantara said that when he caught him with a good shot rush, like in one of the early, maybe first or second round, that he realized right away that he, that he wasn't a light heavyweight just based on how he was able to walk with the shot. Did he realize right away that and he's probably in the he's probably a lot bigger you know his weight probably went up real high by the time they got in the world. really i don't know is is that or is like um, i don't no remember you know because he have too much uh mucho tiempo for el ring too much upside the ring you know i don't know ring yeah. yes Did he different far or feel no no because like bigger? no because you know he tried to fight like when when a guy, he weighed 160, you know, pressure him, but this is no, no, good for me because he's uh, 175, you know. Yeah. I don't feel the punches, but I feel my body uh, uh, round to round, uh, less con less condition, you know. Yeah. But, you know, now that you're with Robert and you guys are at the same weight now, could you guys maybe fight next year or down the road? Que, que tú y Ward tuvieron un intercambio de mensajes uh, Andrew Ward. Uh, con Andrew Ward y, y Ward ahora está en tu peso, dice que si tú piensas que algún día lo puedes pelear. ¿Qué quiere? ¿Eh? No sé, dile, no sé, los promotores los que mandan. Pues no sé, no me importa. No sé, no me importa. 
you're not even talking. Were you, were you upset that top rank wouldn't modify the terms of the contract for that fight to happen? Very upset, very upset. Like in that moment, in the year that I was hasta pensar retirarme y le de lo de lo problemas que hubo. He was so upset with the problems he had. He thought about retiring as a result. Yo estaba muy emocionado y le por esa pelea porque era la pelea que toda la gente quería. He was real excited about the fight because everybody wanted that fight. Y todavía y todavía tenía un año apenas que estaba inactivo. Era el momento de hacer la pelea. And that was the moment to have the fight because I wasn't inactive for a year. Y to y to me tachó a mí de yo tener miedo, pero cómo iba a tener miedo si me estaba dando cinco peleas más más la de la de la de Top Rank was claiming that he was afraid to take the fight, but it wasn't that. They wanted a five fight extension that he wasn't going to take. Do you have a message for Barbera? Nothing. Is, 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 Bless you, him. is he almost happier that the Paul Frotch fight didn't happen based on how his body reacted to being off for so long? Hmm? Are you happy that he did No, Philip. No, because... I think Frotch in 168, you know, from four is tough to do. It's tough, you know, it's, 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 it's un poco más malo. It's no better box than the Frotch, but it's bigger and I think it's a little stronger, you know. And these are two, two different types of fighters. Possible, Frotch, you have 37 and it's 168, you know, from four is 27 and, and, and it's 175 bigger. Out you at 68 that you think would be a good style of matching with when he finally gets one or, you know, one or two fights in the books. You know, it's by, a pretty loaded division. By then it could be it could be almost a year, so by then we don't even know what could be out there. Right now that's not what, what I'm I'm looking yeah. into. Right now I'm looking into fight by fight, getting him better and, and getting him to, to perform and to do to do what uh, what he's been what he's been told to do. I'm not looking at who we should fight in the next in the near future, because right now, the next three or four fights are the ones that are important to me. When, when he first came to the gym, did you lay down, I mean, I'm sure you heard all the stories, did you lay down you know, the ground rules of, hey, this is how it's going to be? Because you have experience with dealing with fighters who go a little crazy during training. Yeah? Look, I went to his house, and uh, and we, we, we talked, and uh, he uh, we agreed to, to the way sparring should be done, training at a certain time, you know, we agreed to everything, you know. We didn't... Uh, I didn't have to uh, to wait for him to tell me when. No, no, we, we made an agreement to uh, to the timing and the sparring and, and and everything else. You know, the the whole team. And I think I think it uh, it was all for his own good. You know, he he knows he needs to to take take the sport seriously. And uh, and you know, like I told him, you know, three or four years of your of your life, you know, is gonna is gonna make a big difference for for the future of your not only yourself but your family, your kids. Wife, everybody. So you know he's he's mentally ready for that. Robert, uh, Julio was just talking about his litigation with Top Rank. Of course, your brother is still going through that. Is he is he any closer to like being done? Well, you know what? Uh, what uh, what we thought it was that we were getting close to you know working something out. You know we had uh, we already thought about, but you know you know my you know Mikey's attorneys are, are handling that and uh, and they're you know. They advised Mikey to do this and do that, and Mikey's just following instructions right now. Uh, we thought it would be, by now we should already have something said, but it looks like it's not going to happen, right? Not at this moment, so we're just waiting. After my fight, he's never, never recovered, never is the same, never the same. It's because Martinez got it the cut of fight, because Cotto is smaller guy. Don't give me the rematch, you know? And Top Brown give the the the, the fight for le dio la pelea a Cotto para traerlo a su empresa de él. Y, y me quitó la revancha a mí de, de, de Martínez. Y Martínez nunca me quitó la revancha a mí. Dile. Martínez never wanted to give him the rematch and they gave they gave Cotto the fight with Martínez so he went para que to, fight para uh, Brown uh, Julio. Uh, and they could and they could sign him. But he never wanted the rematch with Julio. It was an emotional fight. He liked the fight. He was happy with the fight. Yeah. He would like to have had the rematch. He couldn't do it. So. Well, you know what the problem would have been? So I was thinking about it after. Like, he would have won. You know, if he would have knocked him out in that last round because of the, the 
broadcast, they would have changed it to no contest. Yes, no decision. Yeah, but todo el mundo lo hubiera noqueado. I would have knocked them out anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it stupid that they're testing for marijuana? It's not a performance enhancing drug. Y aparte, man, he's crucif crucifying me. You know, me crucificaron, dile. They crucified him after that because of the test. And otro, the otro, was outrageous. Otro. Yo veo que salen por asteroides, por esto, por el otro, y no hacen nada. Yo salí por marihuana y se hizo un escándalo como si hubiera matado a alguien. The, the, the reaction to him testing positive was much worse than other people who've tested positive for more serious drugs. And, you know, the reality is that, you know, marijuana or any of those substances don't help a fighter. It's not like he's in the ring and he's stronger or he's able to do more because he did something. Tal vez por eso desperté hasta el número, hasta el round 10. <laughs> he said that's why he woke up maybe in the 10th round. That's a joke, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, shouldn't fighters be allowed to do that if they want? I mean, doesn't it help them relax, maybe? Personal opinion? Yeah. It's ridiculous that marijuana is is banned because it doesn't enhance your ability to fight, you know? And I think that in, in boxing, you want to stop people from having an advantage. That's not an advantage. But that's a different topic. <laughs> Dice que Nacho ha estado diciendo que él te conoce muy bien y que después de que acabe Reyes contigo va a ser tu última pelea. Nacho no me conoce, ni, no, ni siquiera me ha visto, lo he visto una vez en la vida. Dile. He said, I've seen Nacho one time in my life. El único que va a decir es, si pierde la decisión, va a decir que le robaron la pelea, como siempre dice Omar que If he, uh, says they, if he loses the decision, he's going to say they stole the fight, like he always says. Do him and Reyes, have they ever been around each other back in tú, Mexico? Tú y Reyes han estado juntos en México. No, no lo conozco, nomás le gané a su colega, a Maradona Rubio. He, he says, I don't know him, I just beat one of his colleagues, Rubio. Que todos se están juntando uh, en el gimnasio para ayudarle. No hay problema. No no problem. He needs the help. There's, there's, there's many things. It's not just one thing. It, it's many things, but uh, you know, the more to me, the, the main thing was sitting down, you know, starting to wrap his hands and, and, and asking me how many more rounds, what's next. You know, that that's to me that was the most important thing. You know, not 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 saying oh now I wanted to go to the speed bag or now I want to go to the heavy bag. No, he does four or five rounds shadow boxing or as many as I tell him, and then he's asking me. What's next? How many rounds? I say, okay, we're gonna go to the back. How many rounds? Speed back. How many rounds? Double back. How many, you know, he's, he's yeah. asking, you know, and that's the, the most important thing. The rest is, you know, it's little by little me, uh, you know, trying to get him to, you know, use a jab, stand sideways and move around a little more instead of just going forward, uh, getting hit. How hard is it to, uh, you know, when you get a new fighter coming to you, you've had guys come to you who train us to break a fighter out of the habits that he learned from an old, another trainer. You know what, to me, I think, uh, to me, it's been more more about challenges, uh, not, not just about uh, being able to, to do what I what I know how to do, but the challenges, you know, the, those fighters that people might think will never be able to to, to pull it off or, or win the big one. Uh, you know, I've had, you know, it, you know, Julio's not the not the first one, you know, I, I, I've, done, I've had the same situation with Marcos Maidan, uh, you know, Steven Luan or Brian Villora a few years back, you know, where people don't believe they can do it and, and we go out and, and make it happen. You know, I think that we're in the, the perfect position right now. Things happen for a reason and we don't wish a loss to nobody, but I think things happen for a reason and now we're working and uh, maybe two years ago, maybe we wouldn't be working together anymore, I don't know. I think things happen for a reason, and I think right now we're at a good run, maybe to to finish his career uh, as a professional boxer, me being his trainer. Do you think to be at your best, you need at least a minimum of three fights a year? More fights. Si sí, para estar en tu mejor condición piensas que necesitas tres peleas al año. Sí. For this year, yes, you know, three, three, three fights. You know, the next years you can see better fights. You know. Uh, like you love looking like war, like, like that, but first need three, three, four, five. We first need 
do we'll the four, five, three, four, right? but ne you know, next year we might, we, you know, we, if, if the Galapagos or the, or the Wards, then you know, of course, we're not gonna be doing three or four of those, every, you know, per year. But uh, you know, it depends on, on where we are after three or four fights. Mi siguiente pelea el 18 de julio en, 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 en el Paso Texas con Marco Antonio Reyes, otro mexicano. Sí, un saludo a todos los fanáticos. Este, vamos a volver a pelear a 128 libros contra otro mexicano. Me espero que me apoyen no, porque yo creo que soy el, soy el favorito de los mexicanos. Un saludo a los amigos de Lucero Chávez Jr. para el noticiero Viva Vegas.